I'm going to start off with the rotational press. It's also known as an Arnold press. You can do it with dumbbells or kettlebells, depending on what equipment you've got. So what you're going to start off with is bicep the core, bicep curl weights uh, up. You're going to have the palms facing in towards you, okay? And you're going to have the dumbbells near your chin, okay? What you're going to do with the single arms, you're going to rotate out and then push up so your palm is facing out. You're then going to return that to the same place and then move the other arm. Okay, so it's rotator cuff exercise, deltoids, triceps, a bit of everything. So you're just rotating as you're pressing. Okay. You're always trying to fully extend up as high as you can and you're returning back to the same place. Try and make it a fluid motion. So try and not rotate too early or too late. It should just be kind of one smooth action as you go. And again, it's unilateral, should just do one at a time. Okay, so that is the rotational press. With the side to side press ups, it's just a kind of little mix up exercise from a standard press up. What you're doing, still in a kind of normal press up position, but you're just coming over to one side. So over towards the left hand, push back up. Over towards the right hand, push back up. Okay, really test the back of the arm, the triceps. If you find it really difficult to start with, just drop the knees down slightly and then just practice being able to lean over, chest coming down to one arm and push up, okay? Another way to make it easier to start with, don't go as low. So just get used to kind of bringing some weight over to the left, come back up, bringing some weight over to the right, come back up, okay? Again, another real tricep burner, that one there. Hand walks, okay? You're literally starting off, feet are stuck in the mud, so once you've planted your feet, keep them there. You're gonna then lean forward, okay? If you struggle to get to the floor to start with, just widen the feet, okay? Hands down, walk yourself out onto the mat, and when you get to the end, elbow plank, elbow, push up, push up. Again, requires a lot of core strength, full body strength, transferring force throughout the body. The legs are uh, part of the exercise, the core's part of the exercise, and the upper body. Really hard on the shoulders, triceps. Again, so everything's working hard. Okay, if I just speed that up, it's hands, 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 elbow, elbow, push, 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 and back up, okay? It's a really, really difficult exercise. It will get your cardio up as well, so it's a nice endurance exercise. Loads of muscles in the body are working. Okay, just kind of keep on top of that one. Have a go, just doing a few through to start with, see how you get on with it, and then try and increase your repetitions from there. Number four on the first program. Bench, or if you're leaning on a side, you know, whatever equipment you've got. Kettlebell row, okay. Hand thoroughly below the shoulder. Back should be like a tabletop, okay, nice and straight. Overhand grip on the kettlebell. This is a 10 here. Elbow back, pause, down nice and slow. Okay, pull up, down nice and slow. Okay, I'll bring this around as a side here, so you this side. So again, opposite leg. So right knees down, right hands down below the right shoulder, left hand over, pull in, down nice and slow, pull in, down nice and slow. So not just the elbow, we get the shoulder back as well with this one, but try not to over rotate at the top, just try and control the contraction, squeeze back, control down, squeeze back, control down. Okay, there's your first four for the upper body.